Hey everyone, welcome to another NHD Quick Tip. This time we're gonna focus on what is historical context and why it's so important to any NHD project. No NHD project is complete without historical context. So first we're gonna start by defining what is historical context. So historical context is the larger setting in which your topic takes place. So if your topic is temperance and you'll be looking at the 1820s through the 1840s or even extending that out if you're going all the way up to prohibition in the 1920s. So we need to be thinking about that time period. What else is going on in the 1820s, 1830s, 1840s? So do we see overlaps with the abolitionist movement? Do we see overlaps with women's suffrage? What else is going on in the climate of the United States that is going to have an impact on the temperance movement? The complete definition of historical context can be found on page 7 in your NHD Contest World Book, which you can download at nhd.org slash rules. So thinking about historical context and getting it into your NHD project can seem like a daunting task. So we've come up with a couple of tips to help you work that historical context into your NHD project. What should you consider when you're thinking about historical context? Well, you're going to want to think about social, cultural, economic, religious, political movements. What are those changes? What do we see happening, right? So when I made a reference that we were talking about the temperance movement, but we might have to look at the connections between temperance and abolition and suffrage. Those are seeing the overlaps of various movements. And the reason those movements are all happening at the same time is because it's the age of reform. So we need to consider all of those different influences and how they play a role in our specific topic. And the other thing you wanna think about is change over time. How do arguments, ideas, beliefs change over time? Right? There's a reason that the idea of temperance stays so long in the United States. So when we're thinking about context, we can understand that there's a movement to ban alcohol in the United States, but we also have to consider how that changes over time when we get something like the Volstead Act in the 1920s, which prohibits the sale of alcohol in the United States. That's a distinct change, not only in belief and in politics, but we have to think about why was there a push to finally make that change with such a big time gap in the middle? So you always want to think about change over time and what's changing and why it's changing. And of course, here's a tip from Dr. Gorn. One of her favorite sayings is, no context, no contest. And what she means by that is, without historical context, your project is incomplete. And so you want to make sure that you're always grounding your NHG project in that context so that we understand why it's happening. So to show you how to do this, we're gonna take one of the most popular topics in NHD world, that of World War II. We have this topic funnel cone that students use to narrow down their interest into a research question and a historical argument. But this topic funnel can also be used to help you with your historical context. So the first thing we're gonna do is put the theme at the top so we can always refer back to make sure we know what the theme is and make sure our topic is connecting to the theme. Then we gotta think about our general interest. So I'm generally interested in World War II. So that's one of the big pieces of historical context I'll need to have when I'm researching my narrowed down topic. So once I'm doing my research on World War II and I'm understanding the historical context, I come across war technology and I'm very interested in that. Like what makes up war technology? What are we creating during World War II, both on the Allied side and the Axis side? What's going on there? So I'll need to do further research, further historical context to just kind of try to figure out what's going on there, which will help me come to my narrowed down topic, which is World War II secret codes. So what were secret codes? What is the Enigma machine? What are the Germans doing? What are the Axis powers doing? What are the Allied powers doing? How are they communicating? And then this also relates back to that theme of communication in history. So I'm always going back to make sure I'm hitting that theme. So then I'm doing more research. I'm gathering more historical context on secret codes during World War II, which helps me come to my research topic, which is how did the development of coded military communication during World War II influence wartime technology? 
So this really helps me set the scene for all the different types of historical context research I'll have to do. So I'll need to know what kind of military communication was happening during World War II and did it influence how we produced wartime technology? And this will eventually get me through my research to a historical argument. And my historical argument is here. In response to Germany's development of the Enigma machine, a device used to encode strategic military communication, British mathematician Alan Turing invented the bomb machine, which enabled Allied powers to quickly decode German communication. Turing's communication innovation saved countless lives, changed the course of World War II, and laid the groundwork for future machine learning. So by completing this cone, it helps me narrow down my topic based on the theme, but it also helps me figure out the different areas I'll need to research for my historical context. So it seems like not only are we using the cone to kind of whittle down all the way to that research question and historical argument, but we also have to think about going back up that cone, right? Thinking about all the different things that we need to build on when it comes to sources we have to review. So we have to know when and where and why World War II, but also keep thinking about technology. What happened during World War I? How are we building off what happens in the inner war years and getting to that tech that happens during World War II and then whittling it down even further. Don't forget to review the historical context in our rule book. You'll find this information on page 7. You can download the rulebook at nhg.org slash rules. And you can also review historical context on your category's evaluation sheet. You can go to nhg.org slash evals and you can find your category's evaluation sheet.